Dear students, in this unit, we will talk about the archaea, which are the extremophiles. Extremophiles means extreme condition loving. So these are archaea are basically most of the archaea. They are the species of prokaryotes which live in extreme environments. Uh, very few bacteria, they also live and survive in the extreme environment, but archaea are famous for living in these kind of environments. They normally thrive in those habitats where normal microorganisms, including animals and plants, even cannot survive those harsh conditions. The example, we talk about the archaeal examples, Methanopyrus canlary, it's also called strain 116. It grows at highest temperature of 121 degrees centigrade in the thermal vents deep down in the ocean. And this is the highest recorded temperature an organism can survive. Another genus, Picrophilus, and the uh, archaeal species known as Picrophilus turidus, it includes it is present in the most acidophilic environment we can have on this planet Earth. As low as pH of 0 0.06, which is extreme acidic pH, these organisms, they are known to survive in this acidic pH as well. Then we talk about the bacteria, the best adapted bacteria in extreme conditions are cyanobacteria, which have role in fixing of oxygen. They act just like the plants. They take carbon dioxide from the environment and they fix it and synthesize their food while they free oxygen in this environmental ecosystem. Some archaeal species, they are known to survive in aerobic and some are known to survive in anaerobic conditions. So there are many species which don't require oxygen just like humans do. They can survive without that oxygen. And there are some species which just like human, they require oxygen to survive and thrive. These archaeal species, they are involved in the environmental nutrient cycling in different ecosystems, even in plant ecosystems. We will study their role in some other units in details, but their role is that they take any element like sulfur or carbon or oxygen or uh, you name it, different elements which are recycled in this ecosystem so that this world can inhabit a large number of different species, a huge number of biodiversity, these archaeal species play a very important role in the recycling. This recycling has enabled this ecosystem to thrive and to live. 